Uh, hello, I want to present you my new project. This is also my most useful Arduino project. Uh, it can be used to test sensors, to track analog values. Uh, it can uh, also be used as a little multimeter because it can measure voltage, resistance, drop voltage of the diode and uh, it has built-in continuity test. I also added a temperature sensor to monitor temperature uh, and in this video I will try to show you every function of this device and how I use it. When the device is powered, the first mode is for testing analog readings from the sensor or components. Sometimes when I need to test some sensor, I'm too lazy to connect it to the Arduino and write sketch. With this device I can monitor real-time analog data using numbers of using a line at the bottom of screen. screen I can see average value, maximum value and uh, minimum value sensor is giving. These values can be resetted with a second button. With this device I can track how sensors behave. In this example heart pulse sensor is connected to my finger and I can monitor values sensor is giving. Using bottom line, I can see my heart beats. I can also test, for example, microphone sensors or some light sensors, motor and encoder sensors, and much more. The next mode is used to measure resistance. This way I can measure many resistors very fast. Using multimeter can be clumsy and slow sometimes. This Arduino is set up to use internal 1.1 1 .1, uh, uh, volts voltage reference, so readings are much more accurate than in default 5 volts voltage reference because the voltage of power supply is not always 5 volts like now for example this battery is 4 volts or less you can see results compared to the multimeter Uh, third mode is used to test diodes and uh, measure voltage drop of diode. You can use it with regular LED diode or with normal diodes. Uh, next mode is continuity test, which works very good and uh, it can be very handy when uh, multimeter is not close. This device has built-in temperature sensor, so I can measure and track temperature. This is battery status, so I can monitor voltage of the battery. This way I know when I need to recharge my battery. Uh, it can also produce pulse with signals, which is uh, very useful, for example, to control speed of 
DC motors and test DC motors. That's it. I hope you liked my little device. I had lots of fun programming it and building it. I think uh, I can improve it more. I still have one unused button. So I will see what I can do it with it. The best thing uh, of uh, this device is that that you can custom it to your needs. And that's it. I hope you like it and uh, check the video description. I will probably post some more information there. Bye.